Hello, this is Ken Guscott with part two of our down and dirty roster printer demonstration. In these continuing parts, we're going to make pages suitable for a squadron roster publication, and we will start out by making the basic roster. Access D&D from the Reports menu and choose Complete Roster. When the utility opens, we are presented with a bunch of controls and a blank page. The first thing to do is to select the type of report that we are going to make. And in this case, it's already selected. It's the roster table. Next, we go to the record content frame. And from here, we will see that, we, that our entries can be up to six rows and that each row uh, may contain data from a number of uh, sources a formatted name, street address, city, state zip, a database field, or a text item. For a conventional roster, the uh, first row is got probably going to contain a name. So we will select name and then from this drop-down list we can see that we have all sorts of options on how the, the name, first name, last name, rank and grade can be presented. And if none of these prove to be useful, you can make formats for yourself using the user field options. However, for this purpose, we'll select last first grade rank and click the add button. Notice now that our blank page is beginning to contain some information. We will add further information, row 2, city-state address, add row 3, city-state zip, add row 4. Now we have to determine what we want in row 4. A telephone number is a useful thing, so we can select a database field, go to our drop-down list, and find the phone and add. We can probably see this information better if we zoom in on it a little bit. Double clicking on the page will bring it up to a larger size. Now multiple items can be added to a row and next to the telephone number it might be nice if we had the spouse name. Then if the person you are calling doesn't answer the phone you may have a clue on what to say next. So, in order to do this, we will select text item, and in the text box, we will put a space and an open parenthesis. Click the Add button, and we see that this is now added to our information. Click Database Item, and from the drop-down list, find the spouse name. find it, we select it and say add. Now the next thing to do is to put a clothing parentheses in so we select our text item again, clear the information that's currently in the box, add our closing parentheses and add. Now we see that we have our spouse name in but we also see that for people that don't have spouses we have some empty parentheses. Um, to get rid of those, you just want to check the cleanup button and you will see that the empty ones disappear. To complete our data entry, let's select row 5 and decide and database field and decide that that wants to be an email address. So we look for email on our drop down list and, uh, and there it is, email and add. So now we might consider that this is all the information that we need for our roster entries. If you make a mistake or change your mind about some uh, item, you can uh, use the undo feature in the program. For instance, let me suppose that perhaps in row 1, and the formatted name you decided last first grade rank wasn't exactly what you wanted after all. Um, you can undo that. So you see the name is gone and then you can select something different. 
uh, perhaps you didn't want the rank, only last first grade. And select that and add, and uh, that change has been made. Now we'll just zoom out a little bit and maybe dress the page up a little. Um, perhaps for one of the things that you might like to have in here is an alpha separator. So we just select that and you can see that alpha separators have been added to the, to the page. Maybe you want a line separator and a header. This one it already has Anna Maria and Pass Quadrant in the header box, but you can write anything that you want in that. Um, perhaps you also want a footer and a line separator for the footer. And once again, you can type in anything that you want for that purpose in the adjacent text box. You also have options for putting in the date. Um, if you decide to add a date, it uh, comes in several different formats that are selected here. And uh, I'll just select one and you can see that it's been added into the footer. And you can also have page numbers if you want them, starting at page one. And there are many, many options, as you can see, to dress up the page a little bit. Perhaps on the header you'd like to have a bold face and perhaps a larger font. Um, so whatever it is you, you wish to have, you can add them with the options that are available. Now that you've gone to all the trouble of making a page layout, it might be a good idea to save it for future use. This could be done by going to the Save or Retrieve Page Layout area and typing in here what you want to call your page layout. I'll call it Roster and then Save. Uh, now if we go here we can see that it is now in the list. And if we close at this point, supposing we're going to pause here and we want to leave the, uh, the utility, we close. Now if we reopen it at a later time, we go here, print roster info, complete roster. We can select our roster from the drop-down list and say get. And now we have our page layout back again. In addition to what I have already mentioned, you will also see that there are other options available should you need them. Uh, you can choose the number of columns, one, two, or three. You can choose the dimension from the edge of the page to the column by changing the numbers here. And you can put in binder offsets if you are using these as a print master and you are thinking of binding them in such a way that you need extra clearance for whatever binding means that you're going to use. You can review your pages by using these arrow keys at the top of the form. Just go left and you can see page 2 of 4, page 3 of 4, page 4 of 4. And if you continue to press it, it just simply goes around and around again. Um, if you uh, want to just go to page 1, you go to page 1 by just saying that instead of paging through them. Um, in order to actually print, you can print to end, which means it will print from the current page, which is page 1 to 4, and means it will print the whole thing. On the other hand, if you were on page 2 and you pressed this, it would only print page 2 to page 4. Uh, this is sometimes useful when you're uh, making corrections and want to replace a page. The button at the very end here prints just the current page. Um, when you select on print, it's going to bring up your your um, computer's printer options from which you can select and print in the usual manner. I'll just cancel this out. And that basically brings me to the end of this introductory a session with the down and dirty roster printer. So we'll just go back to the main screen.